Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about this fabulous glamour black and white shot that I put together with a friend of mine, Teresa, who's an absolute fabulous model and a terrific actress. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I put the shoot together, what was involved and you can also see some footage of me behind the scenes where I placed my light. <music> So what we're going to do today is we're going to set up this headshot here with a nice parabolic umbrella, a nice reflector, and a lovely model Teresa today who is going to be our subject matter. So how did I get this fabulous black and white photograph, this glamour shot, and what was involved? Well, first off, obviously, you get together with your model and talk about what you're going to do. Now, what I wanted to do was I wanted to do something that was very strongly lit black and white. And the way I wanted to do that was to use a black background, keep it nice and black, and use a parabolic umbrella. Now, it wasn't a real parabolic umbrella because with a real parabolic umbrella, you can actually move the light up and down inside the rail of the umbrella or the softbox, whatever shape uh, you have but uh, most parabolics are usually umbrellas with the light that moves up and down. Now, the reason it moves up and down in the center of the light or the modifier is so that you can focus the light. Uh, same kind of thing you would do with a Vizel. You move the light back and forth where the piece of glass is, so it goes back like this and it focuses. Now, with a parabolic, it does the same thing. It moves up and down. The umbrella that I was using was not a true parabolic. It was a deep dish and the light was set all the way to the back and the only way to change the light would be to move the light itself forward or back in front of the model or soften it a little bit by adding some diffusion in there or something. Now it did come with two pieces of diffusion which was fine for me. I did some tests and I really liked the light. But the main thing I wanted to do was I wanted to have it focused in on the face, a little bit kind of over the body but not a lot as you can see in some of these pictures here. And the idea would be to let everything else drop off black so that uh, we really draw the attention directly to the glamorous, beautiful face that I'm photographing. So that's what I did. And you can see here how I've got the light set up with a little reflector underneath, and this is just a bounce in to soften a little bit of the shadows. I didn't want it to be completely black and white. I wanted to sort of fill in a few places where you would get shadows from a light that was coming directly at somebody. And so I used a reflector. And I think it was very successful. The main thing was is to find a location. In my case, I was very fortunate in that underneath where the model lived was a parking garage. And I could set up everything, as you can see here, in the parking garage, have a little bit of privacy, and we could do what I wanted in that garage. Get that light away from the background so that it stays black. Now, I did have some overhead lights that I had to shield a little bit to try to stop the light. And on the paper seamless, I was getting a little sheen. So I put over some duvetine, uh, which is very matte black um, cloth, and that's absorbed the light to keep it nice and black. And I think you will agree that uh, I got what I was looking for, and I was very happy with the end result. Anyway, if you like that story, you might want to pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com, and check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting things on there, some great photography that will help to inspire you into doing some of your own uh, photographs and really draw upon your own personal creativity just by having a little spark from looking at something like my work. I've also got a book you can download, which is called Tips and Tricks with Playboy Playmate Arena Vornina on the cover, and I tell you how I set that shot up and what was involved in it too. Now in the book, I have lots of diagrams so you can kind of emulate the same thing that I was doing or you can just use some ideas for yourself by just taking something from my book. Follow me on Instagram. As I said before, check out my blog on my website, andrefelixphoto.com. And if you're interested in anything else, you can also pop over to my other website, andrefelix.com where I explain a lot of other things. Now, one thing I was going to tell you guys is that not only am I a professional photographer, I'm also a web developer, so I design and put together websites, and both of my websites were created by me and designed by me, and what that means is that I have more irons in the fire. So I don't just depend on just my photography, I also utilize some other skills I have, which is web development, HTML, CSS, and many other things that are involved in producing websites. And all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.